All right, looks like this thing is working well so far. I wanted to, uh, in fact, I need to switch this camera around. I wanted to show you guys uh, the finishing touches that I did on my Organite Shield. Um, and I wanted to basically give some people advice. Um, I understand these are my beliefs on this situation in this particular subject, but I felt the need to share it. But it's, it's, it's going to be as real as it gets. Um, most of y'all seen this thing before, but uh, I'm just showing it again so everybody understand. This is the, definitely one of the best shields I've ever made for healing. Um, it will take, when you first make this, it actually will take you a minute to get used to its healing effects. But um, the minute you put it on, um, like I said before many different times, you will feel tremendous amounts of positive energy generating from it. Um, just wearing this thing is enough to feel that. Now let me just go ahead and... Uh, it's been so damn long since I took this thing off. Okay. Okay. Always keep tape on your phones. Because, uh, yeah, they tend to, uh, you know, they're using it. A facial recognition thing, well, here's the problem. They've already, you know, they're saying, well, like, I'm afraid they're going to get facial recognition. They already have facial recognition data on everybody. If you use the smartphone, they've already, uh, you know, you didn't have any tape on it the minute you use it. They already got it. All right. So I um, hate to be the bearer of bad news on that for people, but that's just how that is. I keep a magnet on the back um, because that really does help even stuff out. Now, towards the front end, you'll see I got the shungite here. And then I got the chakra beads all around it. Organite here, organite there, copper all around it, copper on the inside. Now I got copper around the coil that I made in the, in the mid center there, right? What that is is even more magnets, but um, they're in their, as I say, stated multiple times, um, they're in their repelling. They're on their repelling sides, so uh, that's all automatically free energy right there that you got. So you got that energy basically repelling itself. So as it's doing that, it's able to basically project the positive energies from these uh, from these stones that's on here, these uh, pendants and stuff like that. Also, the shungite for any type of uh, you know radiation treatments to get rid of that crap, like negative EMF, helps out with a lot, quite a lot of that. I think it does help out with fungus. I'm not quite certain. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that. Just look it up for yourself. But um, this is the finishing touches I did for my shielding. This thing is freaking incredible. That's as best as I can describe it. Um, I guess I can go ahead and do this today. I haven't did it. I haven't really shown my face on this damn thing in a while. Why not? There you go. Okay. Um, I started really looking at a lot of things in the situations, and you know something? Um, reality is definitely, uh, you know, fucked up. This is just my advice to anybody who's single, though. Anybody who's in a relationship, look, keep what you got, okay? But um, if the, you know if the shit's not working out, leave that, leave that alone. Just get out of that. But let me tell you something. Um, this is gonna, this is the truth that no one else will tell you. A lot out of a lot of the research that I've seen, um, I'm looking at the stuff that I've compiled so far and the stuff that I experienced. Right, first off. Project Bluebeam, yet another, you know, in thing that they've invented for programming. Um, you already know, if you've seen, you know, Out of Shadows documentary, you see the documentation that basically hints that, yes, they have been, uh, they have been, um, you know, pretty much, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, they've pretty much been putting subliminal programming to people. You already know about that. Um... Not just that, you also know about the uh, about the fact that they spray the skies. You had another part that plays into the programming. Then the Project Blue Beam from the lights that's on cars. Project Blue Beam even from the street lights, um, you know, the traffic lights. Project Blue Beam from your TV, from your phone, all of that. So you got all of that happening. And then you also got the fact that they tied in the microwave systems with this. 
um, that's there to basically radiate the food that you eat. When you eat the food, that's radiated food. Remember, that's when that gets in your system and you're eating that. Remember, they tell you not to be in front of these things because they beam out radiation. Um, they beam out radiation, so whatever you're eating out of that machine, it's already putting that, you know, that microwave, that uh, radioactive food in your, not radioactive, but at least, um, you know, high, I, I would say food that has a high dose of radiation in your body. Now, you take all of those things together, and then you also figure out that, uh, you know, the fungus seems like the most thing that is effective of cutting their tech off, if you're not doing the whole anti-nano bucket or barrel thing, is a, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this. It's on the playlist, but um, I wanted to just bring this up because it's going to be something you can u utilize to cut the stuff off. Now, to give you a genuine idea of where the uh, crown, this nano crown builds up at and where it's attached to. Okay, so the way this stuff is working is coming directly from your kidneys. So it's, you know, from what Tony was describing, you know, they punk, they start, you know, it starts working to basically puncture a hole somewhere through there, a very tiny one, not enough to really, uh, you know, for you to feel it and cause significant amounts of damage. But it goes from your kidneys, it goes, technically it goes from the stomach uh, to the kidneys, then all the way up down the back of the spine, towards your back, up the neck, and then it's going all the way around your head. So that's basically where the crown is like, um, you know, the nano crown is building itself around when it actually starts to reassimilate itself. So, as you all know, um, let me go grab this thing. I have to unplug it though. As you all know, I built a, uh, a right belt. In fact, hold on a minute. Before I do that, how much battery percentage I got on you? You just see 13%. That's not much. So, this probably won't. In fact, I won't even worry about the belt for right now. I'm going to just go ahead and finish this first. So, um, as you all know, I built the anti you know, I built the rifle belt that basically helped combat. The only problem was the, uh, the radiation, because you know radiation comes from speakers, same thing from the headphones too, high doses of radiation comes from those. And you see, a lot of this stuff that's electronic, right, it all, it's still radiation, high doses of radiation, that stuff basically grows the fungus. This stuff um, seems to really be shut off from fungus frequencies. From uh, frequencies that detoxify uh, and kills off fungus, as well as um, right frequencies that basically deal with heavy metals. Um, that's pretty much the best ones you could use. There is zakaosis, and I looked at his, and it said the same thing. It was dealing with radi, except it was cutting off radiation, and uh, it cuts off, you know, the TV meter and all that stuff. So basically, when it builds the crown. Um, you know, right around your back, because I, I could feel this as I was detoxifying myself. What it's doing is, you know, it does use the ears as antennas. It basically is assimilating itself from there, and then it's attaching itself. Uh, most of you guys, if you basically check the back of your neck, right around where your head is, um, you're going to feel bumps back there. Now, how did I deal with the uh, radiation problem on the belt? Well, simple. I used uh, aloe vera plants. That seemed to basically help out a lot with that. Um, but uh, on, on the other topic, though, with all that, um, you know, with all of that as it is, I started to think, you know something? Considering I'm a target individual, and I started wondering. And I'm not talking about, you know, people who may have dated someone and that person, that person, you know, they both ended up turning out to be TIs. No, I'm talking about just in general, like just regular basis on gen in general, like people who you may have dated in the past. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, you know something, how would I, but co considering how deceptive this technology is and how hidden it is, there's no way I had any idea what this shit was going down. Nobody had no idea this stuff was happening at a certain point in their life growing up. No one did. Unless you grew up and your dad or your mother was a T.I. or you just, you know, it, but you see, it, it gets even worse because like um, sometimes your parents won't even tell you that shit. And I see why they wouldn't because, well, that would put you in danger. Um, it's not that they don't fuck with you because they do. And I've seen, you know, when I started looking back, I started to realize, you know, a lot of this tied into that stuff. A lot of it did. So... In regards to that, I started I started to really question the reality of things. I'm like, you know something? 
especially with these perps, a lot of these relationships and shit that you see, a lot of this stuff that's happening, it can't be real. Some of this stuff has to just be, um, there's no way any of this stuff is real, man. Not, none of it. None of, a lot of the stuff that they basically try to promote saying like, um, you know, love this and love that. Like it's, it's a fucking fraud. It's a freaking fraud. And what scared, what really scares me is that like when you, when they come out with these random freaking rappers and shit, these random freaking singers, these people in the huge entertainments, it's like people are just going gaga over that one damn person. And it's like. Are these people really attracted to that? I'm really starting to question reality. Are these people really attracted to those people? Or is this just a fucking program? You know? Because technically, everybody's eating the same fucking food, including the perps. Everybody's drinking the same water. Everybody's breathing the same air. All of this stuff that has been poisoned. And what's worse, these perps are still eating that shit. They're still, still eating that food that nobody has no business eating right now. If anything, now is the time to definitely detox, man. Now is definitely the time for that. But um, they're uh they they're just going right ahead and um, you know, still eating that stuff. From what I've seen. Um. I uh. I don't waste, as I mentioned before, I don't really waste my time with these perps like that. Because um, I'm starting to realize just how sinister this damn, you know, this damn matrix is. That's just how bad it is. You have, you would have no idea that they program millions of people just to basically like some damn music. And they, these people may not even be interested in that shit. And I started to realize this because whenever it came up to like free thinkers, it's like they always have a major problem with that. You know, they always have a major problem with people who have a free sense of thinking. And it's like everything has to be all systematic type thinking. So it's like, like what the fuck are you trying to program people for? You know, it's crazy. So, um, I've mentioned it before, I will not be uh, entering another relationship in this lifetime, as, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, due to the significance of this situation. Um, shit can't be trusted. The uh, significance of all of this, of what has been seen, it's quite obvious, and, you know, it's just that much sinister. Now, look, this is my decision to make. There's plenty of people out there, okay? There's plenty of people out there. Granted, most or some may not be awake like most of us are. But, you know, that's just how it is. Man, when you start to really look at that and you start to see all of this shit that's happened, people just going with it. Like freaking Christmas. Christmas is a pagan damn holiday. And people still celebrate that shit. Dude, dude, that's that's another major problem. Hall I used to fuck it like Halloween too. I used to love Halloween, but then I started seeing what this shit really meant. I'm like, hell no. I'm not represent I'm not celebrating this. I'm not supporting this. No. Hell no. No. Absolutely not. And then it gets worse. It gets much worse to where they start trying to just, like, as soon as you're not, you know, fitting into their whole program and shit, they'll basically do whatever they possibly, excuse me, do whatever they can to set you up. Yeah, they will set you up in a heartbeat. They do this to TIs all the time, every day, every freaking day, every step of the way. And then I think to myself, how could any of the relationships that these perps have be real? It can't be. There's no way. None of it is. Because when you chant, I mean, you know, here's the deal. Look at, you know, look at Zacchaeus' situation. His family was involved with masonry. And he's not the only T.I. whose family has been involved with masonry. They turned on their own family. They turned... His family turned on him. He was like, he was supposed to be a son to them because he was their son. Yet they turned on him. Family and friends all alike. Yeah. No joke. 
So I'm, I, it's like there's no way any of that. Sh whenever I see any of these perps try to play the whole family routine, that shit's not real. It's not real. Because what's going to happen when they, you know, they, it's all fun and games while they're young. But what's going to happen when they get older and they start waking up? What's going to happen then? They're going to turn on them like they turn on everybody else. If it comes to where they wake up and they don't want to support the agenda, they're going to turn on them. This man, this world we're living in is thicker than a two fucking dollar bill. That's as and I'm part of part of me for my language, but that's as best as I can describe it. It's fake. It's always been fake, and the real world is out there. But we gotta basically peel back through all the lies, all the deceitfulness, all of the basic, all of the um wrappings that they put out there to basically hide, you know, cover up the truth, man. All of it. I can still look yeah, I, I, now I'm de even though I'm detoxing people, I can actually feel this aluminum based web on my back. Um, I woke up in the middle uh, at some point in the afternoon and I literally felt this thing, the structure of this thing on my neck. I literally felt this on my neck, on my neck to my back. And this is this web is going all down my spine, all down my spine. Now that I got some more light, you know, I guess I can just go ahead and show you guys this before this battery drains all the way. Um, let's go ahead and end this quick afterwards. Let me turn you around. Okay. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. You see that bruise there? That's not a bruise. That is a mark left from being hit with the DEWs. And I showed you guys the other one earlier. You see on this side, you see the two uh, spots there too. Both sides. That happened to me when I went to go grocery shopping, and uh, they were severely attacking my left arm right where my muscle is. Possibly to slow me down, I don't know. Maybe so. Um, if you think my markings are bad, dude, I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. I've seen one that where um, it was this couple, this uh, this married couple. They had um, hit the husband in the leg, his right leg, like around where his ankle is at. He literally had, um, you know, splatters of blood all throughout there because of how bad it was. They even caught footage of people in semi, in literally, not really semi trucks, but like moving trucks. Going out. They had, it was, wasn't both of them. Both of them are basically trying to, uh, you know, block them from following the one that was spraying them. They sent a damn truck out, a truck to basically spray nano dust, aluminum based nano dust out. They did this in broad daylight, people. This damn organization did this shit to them in broad fucking daylight. People know this is happening. People know people, other people are being programmed. People know that people are being poisoned. TIs are being poisoned every day. These people know this is happening. They know it because of the way they act whenever they're around a TI. You ever notice that he, that, um, you know, they have somewhat of a quiet demeanor? You know, they act kind of funny looking whenever they're around you? You ever notice that kind of behavior? That's a dead giveaway for a perp. That's a dead giveaway. Um, they got mu mu much other characteristics of behavior that just gives them away quite easily. That's pretty obvious to, you know, you can tell that their whole behavior, their whole demeanor is just complete counterfeit. It's not real. I've long since stopped falling for people like, and I've fallen for people's bullshit that are like that. I've long since stopped fooling, well, you know, falling for that. Um, and I just let a per, I usually just let a person's action re actions really uh, justify it. But I also keep one thing in mind. Everybody has been laced with this tech in some way or another. So at the same time, their own actions can also just as well as be manipulated by this tech. I don't blame if a TI says if a fellow TI says something that may seem a bit off. I don't blame the TI. I blame the system. The only the only thing is, all of us TIs have you know it is our obligation um, to basically you know deprogram ourselves from this shit as best we can, as best we can. It's not easy. 
doing so is easier said than done because remember the more you're trying to unlace yourself they're going to be there to try to relace you again but as long as you're on the system you need to understand this one simple concept they have more ties to things to you know that they can just use to relace you the planes in the sky the freaking uh vehicles that do this shit all kinds of stuff now I don't, i'm pretty sure you can see that if it drains too fast, then I'm going to have to just immediately... Let me just get this thing in position. Okay. So, normally when they try to shut the uh, devices off, you'll see the phone drain way too fast. That's another sign of the hacking bit that they do. Um, doesn't matter. This will be uploaded soon anyway. But uh, it's just to give you a genuine situation. They really don't want people communicating. I should go ahead and tell you guys now. It was um, in one of my videos. I mentioned I was going to go live yesterday. But um, funny thing, I've never. No, everybody knows who has subscribed to that channel knows I've never went live on that channel at all. The one, the one time I decided, I say it ahead of time, and I decided to do it. And all oh, they're saying like, uh, you know, YouTube's restricted this uh, function. Come on, man. How more obvious can you get? This is why using the enemy's platforms, using the enemy's tools, the stuff that they put out there for people to entertain, they want, they want, they, you see, they got backdoor controls to this shit for a reason. They have the backdoor controls of this stuff so that they can fuck with it, to fuck with you, to manipulate you, to get you to basically, um, you know, get upset, get mad, get agitated. I don't let this stuff agitate me because I already know in the end, this shit ain't coming with me. No materialistic thing goes with anybody. Um, you know, once it's your time to leave this earth. That's it. That's it. That's 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 it. That's all. Um, anybody who does commit themselves to roughly too many materialistic things. Look, I don't know what else to tell you, but um, you're going to end up allowing yourself to be tied down because of that. Um, that demeanor you got. You got to fight against that if you want to be able to survive. <sighs> Understand, the devil basically makes things, you know, the, the, a lot of this technology was just made the way it was on purpose. They wanted smartphones to be addict addictive for a reason. You, you, man, you can't go nowhere without seeing nobody with a damn smartphone in their hand. Now, nowadays, like right now, I, whenever I go out, whenever I start walking outside, whenever I go to the store, I don't have a phone in my hand. I don't. That and I don't know if they knew about that, but that's yet another way I'm deprogramming myself from this bullshit. That's yet another way I'm doing that. Okay, so in this case, I said all I had to say about that, but um, like I said, mentioned before. The right frequency um, that uh, that I'm you know for fungus it will be the uh, link to that will be left in the uh, description. People get some speakers, something like that, and all you gotta do is just have that basically playing you know playing uh, the introduction of where your back is, playing that like along your backside, and uh, just give it a couple minutes, and you'll actually start to feel it um, interfering with the tech that's on your back. Now in my case, I do have the right frequency belt. Normally, I would just uh, lay down on that, and then it does the job for me. I can go ahead and just take a nap, and then um, over time, it kills that stuff off quite fast. If you guys need a video on how to build one for yourself, um, it's on the Mischievous M's channel. It's on that channel. I did a live stream. Uh, actually, no, I didn't do a live stream video for that. I did a uh, some other video for that. But um, that's about it. It's... Pretty much, it's, it's pretty an easy, it's an easy concept. I had also made some videos that basically list the products down. It's not something that I really want to just try to sell due to the fact that, you know, um, not a lot of people, it's, it's mostly because of what's going on now. If you all haven't um, noticed with the whole situation with um, Amazon, what's going on, with, you know, how they're basically got that stuff going on uh, with the whole... What is that? Also, I shouldn't, I really don't like to repeat myself, but remember, every single one of us is somewhat laced with this technology. All of us are. It's not an easy thing, um, you know, to really deal with this. If you're experiencing V2K, 
if you're experiencing directed energy attacks, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, then that's a sign you're basically laced with this technology. But it's not that you can't shut it off. It's not that you can't detoxify it or get it out of your system. Don't ever believe that, you know, that you're, that you're just doomed to be stuck in that. Why, think of, really think outside, uh, really think about this. If you were so stuck, why would they have to keep lacing you? Why would they have to keep spraying the skies? Why would they have to keep, why would the gang stalkers have to pay attention to every bit of food that you're buying from the store? Think of, start thinking about the stuff you don't normally think about. But at the same time, be spontaneous with your actions because um, that tends to really get them to jump. Just so you know. Whenever you do something unpredictable, um, they, start sh they start showing their true colors. Whenever their actions don't work, they start showing their true colors. Whenever um, the technology's been completely cut off, they start showing their true colors. And trust me, I've seen it more than once. These people get desperate for a reaction. Um, I still just ignore them. It doesn't matter what they have to say, what they have to ask. I'm not, I mean, am, am I under any obligation to speak to you, sir or madam? No. Am I under any obligation to basically answer your question? No. And neither is any other fellow TI. Don't, um, and you know, that's where it gets really difficult. Because we need to inform people about this, but at the same time, we're being psyoped and gang stalked. So it really makes the situation difficult, you know. This is why I started recommending people to just either use, you know, maybe a shirt or something or a sign, something like that, to basically just advertise, you know, you know, different channels that speak about this, that have really eye-opening um, content that really, you know, really show people what's really going on. Um, the best thing I can tell you about most of these, uh, these perps, though, you best believe um, the way this programming works, from my understanding, from what I've witnessed, uh, I don't want to go too far with this video. The way that I noticed it is that, um, well, it's predictive. Pro it's definitely predictive programming, but it's in a step to where it's more influence programming to where like it can it's more of a convincing way for them to stay on the system. You ever notice how they're trying to fight to basically advance the system into a more control, to, for, to give it more control? You ever notice how these people are just doing that? Yet, you ever, at the same time, at the same time that these perps are basically fighting for this system, right? At the same time they're doing this now, this is the same system that has poisoned their food, all of that has done all of this shit program. And yet they are fighting tooth and nail, even if it means getting, and trust me, these perps have gotten shot, these perps have gotten beaten up before, and they have even been arrested. They have done so much shit that where it does it literally makes no sense. To defend an organization that is basically screwing you over like that, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry about that. That's my rife belt that I have here. Um, I still need to use that, but I decided to make this video now. In fact, let me cut this thing off. I decided to uh, make this video now since I was able to cut this tech off a bit more. Um, I don't know if you guys can even notice the change, you know, the base of my voice or whatever. I don't know if you can tell or not. But that's a difference between, um, you know, when this tech has basically overgrown itself and it started to make that influence to where, I, you know, I started detoxifying myself and I'm cutting it off. Problem is, and here's the, here's the issue, a controlled environment is very bad for a TI. It is. I'm talking about, um, and I started looking farther into this shit, and let me tell you what I found. Your trash that you throw away, guess what? They can basically have your trash delivered to somebody, and that's it. You have no, you don't even know what you done threw away, but they can illegally, they can basically have your shit delivered directly to them. T.I.s, did you know that? Did you know that um, 
that technically, whenever if you were to ever, and here's the problem, if you were ever to go to court, did you know these perps, and this is what I'm trying to warn TIs now about, because the court's not going to be on your side, I'm afraid. It's not. It, it is certain people looking into this, but the court system is not going to be on your side at all. I'm sorry to say it. I'm just saying it how it is. I say this because there have been whistleblowers talking about how they will swap out the judge, um, but all that money that they're making, considering that they own the, um, you know, that the enemy technically owns the mint, how they just, you know, the, uh, the Federal Reserve, how they're just printing endless amounts of money. That's another problem. They could just be paying off, you know, paying ridiculous amounts of money to the judge to pay them off to basically keep the case going as long as possible until you have to give up on it or until you run out of money to where you can't even afford to even go to, you know, afford a lawyer anymore. And they always basically fuck with the lawyers too. Most lawyers work for this shit, man. They never overstep that boundary at all. Most do not do that. But it's not to say that there aren't some lawyers out there who are willing to overstep that boundary. But there is a line to this. There was one particular TI who did have a case that was going, and it was going well. But guess what they did? They killed the lawyer. That's what they did. That's what they did when they. Po that's what they do when they poison you. This is why you cannot be trusting going out of your way uh, when it comes to these handshakes. I've seen um, many of these perps pull this. The handshake stunt. I know what that is. They're trying to poison you. They have shit laced on their hand. That they're trying to basically lace out onto you. They have something. Maybe they got something to get the shit off. Or maybe they're just fully programmed. I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's just from what I noticed. If you all have seen the McDonald's incident. you he, I mean think about it. That's evidence that the guy was both him and his buddies kept trying to shake my hand on more than one occurrence. Why in the hell was it so important for them to shake my damn hand? What the fuck was up with that? You know, really think, really think about that. What the fuck was up with that? Like, why was it so important for them to have to shake my hand? It's because they had poised, they had that, that C-19 shit on their hands, people. That's what they had. And fellow TIs, if you are hearing what I am telling you right now, don't ever shake these perps' hands. Don't. Don't ever accept anything from them. I don't give a fuck how bad you are, what spot you are in. Do not accept nothing coming from a perp. Never. Because most likely that shit has been poisoned. That shit has been laced. It's a setup in some way. And I'm telling you, it has been a setup because... Uh, let me tell you another scenario that basically happened. I go up into the local uh, pharmacy a while back ago, right? I go into the local pharmacy. Hang on, let me just, uh, all right. I go into the local pharmacy, and it just so happened. Now, this was a fucking setup. Now, the lady had used a gift card or something, right? But it, they still had it latched onto the register. And the cashier is sitting there going like, oh, well, like, you know, um, her stuff is still on here. You can go ahead and just, you know, sw you know, scan your items and get a little bit of a discount. I'm not using anybody else's identity, motherfucker. No, that's a setup. That's and I did have my audio recorder, but it wasn't the new one. It was the older one. The older audio recorder caught that shit. And, um, you know, they didn't want me having that. So they got rid of that. And you want to know why they got rid of that? Because that had evidence tying the shit that happened at my job to here. It had a lot, a lot of the crap that they were saying here, they were saying at the job. And all of this shit started, you know, all of it tied in together. They did not want me having that connection. They didn't want me having that. Uh-uh. They're like, no. No, you will not make that connection. You will not do that. Oh, but dude. Damn. Just damn. You know something? The Most High did show me one thing, though. This system is designed to basically use you as, as, as much as it can get away with until you get to that point where you realize it's nothing but, a, you know, the system's full of shit. When you start to realize the system is full of shit, you stop playing the game. You stop working as a Hebrew slave and you actually start being really independent. Uh, I mean, real independence. 
Not that means not depending on the system, not using this bullshit. Even if you have to take methods to, you know, gather shit up to leave it, that's understandable. But um, it's when you really leave the system, leave the grid, leave this shit behind that you really start to take control back. Because you got to understand, as long as you're on the grid, man, and as long as you're like living in an apartment or a house, they're going to keep poisoning you. They're going to keep lacing you with this stuff. You need, when you, but when you change your environment to where you're away from all that shit, they, their control structure becomes way less. Even people with implants, look. You can cut that, you can basically turn that shit off. You can. It is definitely possible to cut it off. It is. But you got to basically detox the heavy metals out of your system. You got to start using that borax to basically kill off that nano. You got to use the recipe to kill off the nano. Once you cut that shit off, they won't have, you know, rem remember, they won't have any uh, connections. They won't have any connections at all. Ladies, um, you got to stop using cosmetics because a lot of that stuff, and it, as far as the food, from what I've researched, even uh, chocolate has nano particles in it. These, these, I'm telling you, these bastards are so sinister with this, uh, with this program. They are so sinister. They even put this stuff in cotton-like fibers in your clothing. Yeah, yeah. Even in your cotton-based clothing, they got nanofibers. You can't even buy clothing without e even being fucked with like that. Yet another thing that these perps are still using, and it's a shame because um. People need to clothe themselves, you know. It gets cold out there from time to time. It gets, uh, it, it really gets in an unfortunate situation. But you see, this is why they don't care about you being on the, in the city. It's when you leave the city that they get worried. It's when you leave the grid. I'm telling you, any city that you go to is going to have this, this technology in it. Any, I don't care where you go. Any city of any country that you go into that has any type of, you know, internet access anything like that, it's going to have that shit around it where they can just basically reconnect to you. Unless you cut, unless you detox this stuff out of your system, unless you leave the grid, they're going to keep hitting you with these weapons. I know this because I detoxified myself. I cut it off. I've been cutting their tech off for several days now, repeatedly. And it doesn't, but it, you know, with me still being here, it still cuts itself back on. Because this stuff is regrowing. Because I'm still under, around, surrounded by many of these different cell towers, man. Uh, not to mention, why do you think they got to stream radiation through the building? And it, people, I hope you start to understand uh, this, you know, this, you know, the, how deliberate this shit was. Out of all of the apartments I could have gotten, they gave me the one. That's underneath metallic like uh, machinery. You look into that building, that storage unit upstairs, there's nothing but metal like pieces in there. Nothing but metal. Nothing but all that storage shit in there. All of that, uh, all those washing machines, those dryers that's in there. All of that aluminum stuff. And when we, we look at the research that's been done, you start to see oh, wait a minute. Aluminum actually acts as an, can actually act as an antenna, to, if you, especially if you put it on the head. Where is that stuff? In the upper floor, right above me. People, before I got this apartment, this shit was set up from the start. Even before I even moved here. This whole damn thing was a setup. All of it was. I see it for what it is. Could I get another job? Yeah, I could. But, you know, the only reason why they would, you know, they would allow me to get another job, simple, because I would, you know, that would involve me having to stay on the grid. That would also involve me having to, uh, I mean, come on, people. You see Trump, Trump is going underground, dude. He's going underground. I don't know how more obvious this guy to get. I'm not trying, again, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I just want people to be aware of the situation. If you want to officially get this tech out of your system, you got to get off the grid. That's as best as I can tell you. It's not going to be safe in the city or the suburbs. It's just not. It's not, man. It isn't. 
you see they're defunding the police, so, you know, a lot of the shit's going to be uncontrolled, if it's not already, because clearly it is out of control. But, yeah, but anyway, I still got some more detoxing to do, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, I wasn't even really planning on making a video right now, but it, it is what it is. Stay safe, and as always, stay strong, everybody.